Good morning, friends. Clayton Phillips here from Woody's RV World in Leduc, Alberta, Canada. And all I got to say is, oh baby, oh baby, check out this brand new arrival to our dealership. This is a 2023 Dynamax DX3 37TS. And I have been waiting for this motorhome for quite some time now. And I'm, it's a little different looking. This particular coach, friends, I custom ordered it uh, with the black on black, okay? So this is the only DX3 in Canada uh, with this particular package, friends. And I just wanna let you know, for all of our viewers in the United States, don't be afraid to come to Canada to buy a motorhome, okay? We have the Edmonton International Airport right across the highway from us. It's a two minute drive. We've had people fly out from Ontario, from Quebec, from BC and drive a coach home. We've had some come up from the United States, but I wanna let you know, you're not limited to just buying in the United States. If we can quote out in US money, we can take care of things for you. We can pick you up at the airport and uh, we'd love to host you to our dealership here in Leduc, Alberta, Canada. So I just wanted to throw that out there as a, a point of conversation for you people. So anyway, this particular coach, friends, has the custom um, adventure package paint on it, okay? Um, which gives you that beautiful black, gray, gunmetal gray. It has a custom, you know, uh, compass sundial, if you will, on the side of the coach that looks absolutely beautiful. I'll shoot in when we go down the side of the motorhome. Uh, this particular paint scheme was designed by Dean Laux, which is a, a world-renowned artist, uh, painter. Uh, he d does a lot of painting on million-dollar buses like Prevos and boats and things of that nature. And uh, Dynamax does an amazing job with the paint schemes and held to very rigorous standards for their painting. But um, the, the color combination on this coach is absolutely spectacular. Um, but what pairs it in also is the blackout package. Um, which gives you the black American Racing ATX series wheels. Um, it gives you all of the black bevels and trim pieces and grill and lights and that sort of thing. So it's just an absolutely beautiful black on black package um, that is very unique. So if you like that look, friends, uh, this particular coach might be right for you. So this is the very first Super C motorhome that I've shot um, at our dealership here. We are the only full line Dynamax dealer in Canada. So if you're looking for a Dynamax motorhome, uh, you can find it here exclusively at our dealership in Leduc and we, we, we specialize in this product. I feel friends that Dynamax, I'm gonna make a statement, Dynamax is the best value built motorhome on the market today. Uh, and why I say that is for many, many reasons. Quality of build uh, and the chassis that they use, the feature content that they put on their motorhomes, okay? There are wannabe trucks in the RV industry. So when you're looking at a Super C motorhome and you see the Freightliner truck underneath of it or on the front of it, it doesn't mean it's a real truck. And what I mean by that is there are a lot of trucks in the industry that are not built uh, as commercial trucks, okay? Um, there is a product built by Freightliner, which is still a reasonable motorhome, but specifically designed for the RV industry. And that is called the S2 RV chassis. And there are a lot of differences to that chassis compared to what Dynamax exclusively builds on, okay? On the commercial side of Freightliner, friends, they build on what they call the M2106 that you find in the RV industry um, that some of the manufacturers build on like Dynamax, as well as the M2112 chassis. Those particular chassis are built by Freightliner uh, commercial truck, okay? They're not built at the Freightliner custom chassis facility, which is a lot different than what Dynamax builds on, okay? And there are a lot of differences between the two trucks, all right? Um, when we talk about M2106, M2112, that, that number designation represents inches. So the M2106 is 106 inches from the back of the cab to the front of the grill. Okay, if you're looking at a motorhome that's an, built on an M2 112, it's 112 inches. Usually that M12 is uh, for bigger, much bigger engines. Uh, the M2 106 with this particular platform that Dynamax exclusively builds on has the Detroit DD8 engine in it. It puts out 375 horsepower, 
1,050 foot-pounds of torque. I have some friends on the commercial trucking side. Uh, they sell commercial trucks, and I've been told that the Detroit DD8 is a quieter engine than the Cummins. A um, little bit better fuel economy from what I'm hearing and uh, great, great power uh, that they offer. So Detroit DD8 that this has. The other difference between the M2106 commercial chassis um, and the S2RV chassis is gonna be your transmission. So with this particular coach, friends, the, the DX3 has a 20,000 pound towing capacity. And how they get there is because of the engine, but also the transmission. They use what they call the Allison 3200 TRV transmission. Um, it has different gearing, um, which allows for just better pulling. When you're climbing hills and those sorts of things, um, you're gonna be able to get up to speed a lot quicker and climb those hills faster than what that MH3000 series Allison transmission that the, um, the S2RV would have. The other thing is the S2RV chassis friends only you can only get it with the 6.7 liter Cummins engine in it so you you're limited to 360 horsepower and 800 foot-pounds of torque so when you're talking a coach that's similar in size that we see with a lot of the trailer manufacturers that build on that chassis I'm not going to name the names you do the research um, you're often going to be lagging. So you have a smaller, basically a lighter duty transmission on a coach that's going to be comparable in weight, if you will. Um, so when you hit those hills, they just lag behind. We often get customers coming in wanting to trade out of their other products built on the S2RV chassis just because it doesn't have the pulling power and the climbing power, the torque, uh, that sort of thing that you would get with this type of product. So, um, Lots of advantages going with the Freightliner um, M2106 chassis. The other thing, 55 degree wheel cut. So your front tire here will turn 55 degrees, meaning your turning radius is absolutely spectacular. So if you're going through a campground or a tighter, tighter spot, those tires, they, they turn out quite almost sideways, if you will, uh, giving you just a really nice turning radius, which is nice. So I'm just gonna shoot in on the uh, engine here again. I'm gonna go deep on this video, friends. So if we're not gonna be jumping inside for a bit here, uh, one of the special things about a motorhome like this and why people go to it is the chassis. So we wanna be talking a lot about that, all right? Uh, windshield washer reservoir, very easy to fill. Access to headlights if you have to change out a bulb, if you will. Um, the other thing is when you're looking at a motorhome like this comparatively to a class A, there are so many benefits. I've been in the RV industry well over 20 years. We've sold many, many diesel pusher gas powered motorhomes over the years. And I've come to realize that servicing is a very important factor on motorhomes. All right. When you're dealing with diesel pusher motorhomes, your maintenance cost can be almost double what it would be with this type of application with the truck front end. And I know this from experience. I had to do an in-frame rebuild on a diesel pusher one time um, and replace the turbo and, and put a new head on the engine. And literally my labor bill was twice the amount because they don't give you the amount of space to work in the back end that you would have with something like this. Um, where at a, at a service shop, they would have their crane that would come over the front end of the, 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 the truck here, the hood folds forward, and that crane can literally lift the head right off. They can better access to the engine for servicing, meaning you're in and out of the shop much, much quicker. The other thing is that a lot of your service shops, friends, they do not want to work on class A motorhomes because they take so much longer, they clog up the shop, um, they can be a bit confusing for the technician sometimes because they're not working on them as much as commercial trucks. So something like this, they're, again, they're going to be in and out of much, much quicker, parts availability, all of those things. And to, to tell you the amount that we spent to do the in-frame rebuild was just shy of $50,000 after doing the turbo replacement where it would have been a fraction of the cost or at least half the cost based on labor not parts, but the cost of labor um, for what it would take to repair something like this if we were doing a similar repair on it. The other benefit is versus a diesel pusher motor home friends is they're not having to go into the coach to access, um, you know, to, to do the repair. 
um, diesel pusher motorhomes, sometimes they have to go into your rear bathroom. Uh, if you have a rear bathroom or bedroom, pull apart cabinetry and those sorts of things to be able to access the top of the engine. Uh, with something like this, they don't even have to go into the house. They just jump in the cab door here and in and out they go. So I can talk all day long about the benefits between a Super C um, over top of what a Class A would offer, um, but we're gonna focus back in on the DX3 side of things and get you into this coach. So, but again, lots and lots of benefits uh, to this. The other thing with the M2106 chassis, friends, that's different than the S2 RV is you've got dual fuel fills, uh, 250 gallons, so 100 gallons each, tanks underneath the steps, versus what you would have with an S2 RV chassis with the one fuel tank at the rear of the coach which doesn't give you the ability to have pass-through storage a motorhome like this because those fuel tanks are mounted forward um, you do get pass-through storage underneath which is really really nice you're not giving up storage for that uh, the other benefit is that your seats in an m2106 commercial truck are air ride so both sides uh, you can pump up the air easy access to get in and out as you can see um, but they're an air ride seat so you can pump the air into it to give you that really nice soft ride going down the highway um, your s2 rv doesn't even offer that and then you also depending on the coach can get spin around captain's chairs as well um, they are they are available uh, depending on the coach so um, again we're on a dx3 37 ts 2023 with the adventure package which has the custom adventure dark paint the blackout package the other thing with the adventure package friends is you have a thousand watts of solar on the roof i can't show you that of course uh, because i'm on the ground here but you've got five 200 watt solar panels up on the roof um, go power panels they are wired up to two 300 amp hour lithium, low temp lithium batteries. What's really neat with these batteries, friends, so 600 amp hours of lithium batteries in the belly or in the storage compartment, which I'll show you. Um, they are, are, are temperature controlled or low temp, so they have the heaters attached. Uh, once it gets to a certain temperature, I believe it's zero degrees Celsius, 32 Fahrenheit, uh, they do go into a protection mode where they will not receive a charge, but they will allow you to discharge to be able to use the system, warm up the battery, and to be able to flip it back into full functioning mode. So really, really nice system that way, uh, the way it's set up. We also have, and I'll show you when we get into the storage. You know what? I'm just going to show you the storage as we go and talk about those things. And yeah, this is going to be a long video, friends, so hang in with me. If you want to get into the interior, just take that little red dot at the bottom and slide it over till you see us go inside. All right. Um, here's a compartment here. This has some electrical wiring in it. Uh, your surge guard protector, uh, automatic transfer switch, uh, 3000 watt go power, uh, pure sine wave inverter right there. So you can turn that on if you're at a campground. Um, and you're limited to running your generator, let's say, and you can't plug in, you can turn on that inverter um, and be able to operate uh, a lot of the 110 functions inside the, the coach. Um, here is your battery compartment. So those are your two batteries. Um, they're both 300 amp hours each, so 600 amp hours total. They've got all of the, uh, again, the heating built right into it. Uh, you've got a couple of disconnect switches there, uh, a surge protector, uh, fuse there as well, which is really, really nice. Easy access, easy for servicing. Uh, your chassis batteries are there as well. So um, you're all dialed in with those lithium batteries. And the beautiful thing with lithium batteries, friends, is they're, they're a lot lighter weight, which we're not really worried about weight on a coach like this. Um, but they charge. The charge rate is so much faster than your typical lead-acid battery. Um, again, another pass-through storage compartment right there. Um, you've got a Rotocast. You've got a Rotocast polyethylene storage compartment. Um, all of those compartments, they're not carpeted uh, compartments, um, you know, carpet attached to wood or anything like that. You can spray them out if you'd like. Uh, they're not gonna hold mold, mildew, any of those sorts of things, those weird smells. Uh, if you spill something in there, you can easily clean them out. We'll show you what, what the rest of them look like. All right, 8,000 watt Onan quiet diesel generator. This is a Kubota engine friends for those of you that are familiar with Kubota they're very you know they build engines they build tractors um, we run Kubota tractors at all of our dealerships friends we do that for a reason because they are a great product and that engine is designed to run for thousands and thousands and thousands of hours hours 
do not be afraid to run your own generator and let it run all day. It is designed for it. Those hours are a badge of honor for you, knowing that you've used that motorhome um, for what you're buying it for, for the intended use, right? And that's to get out and have some fun. But that 8,000 quiet diesel generator will pull fuel from the main fuel tanks. There is a safety built into that so that if your fuel drops below a quarter of a tank or right around there, the generator will shut off so you have enough fuel to get to where you, you wanna go. So, but one of the things Dynamax does a real nice job on, friends, you know, there's slide boxes. All your slide boxes on the Dynamax products are laminated slide boxes uh, built to exact specifications. If you watch any of our other uh, videos like with Grand Design and those sorts of things, we talk a lot about lamination. Lamination is the best way to build sidewalls in the industry. Um, but with these guys, they actually laminate a sheet of steel to the bottom of their slide outs. Very, very rigid. We actually did a slide out repair one time on a coach and we actually had to pull the slide out, which isn't totally uncommon. And there was zero deflection in that slide out. Whereas if we've pulled the slide outs out of trailers and those sorts of things over the year, years, they tend to twist a little bit more more where this particular slide box Dynamax does such a nice job some manufacturers do not laminate steel to the bottoms of their slide outs so Grand uh, uh, Dynamax they're just so rigid very very strong also your slide end walls the roof of your slide out uh, your outer wall here is the same thickness as your main wall uh, which is two inches uh, they use a vacuum bond lamination process it's not a pinch rolled vacuum bond lamination so you get more adhesive in the sidewall typically with a vacuum bond lamination um, but again that that we see in the towable products often where your sidewall is thicker than your slide walls uh, these slide end walls where dynamax doesn't deviate from that the other thing they do uh, we talk about steel screws going into hollow aluminum tubes not on a Dynamax, they do stuff those aluminum tubes with wood dowels for better support. Um, you know, you're not gonna have to worry about those corner moldings pulling away over time because steel screws in a hollow aluminum tube will wear that hole bigger and that's when you start to get that, those, those corner moldings pulling away. You don't have to worry about that with a Dynamax motorhome. Um, the other thing is that they've gone to a different fiberglass exterior. Um, they used to use Asdale um, prior to that, they used a Luon panel. No more. Uh, Dynamax has gone exclusively thicker fiberglass. And I forget the name of it. My rep told me. Um, but uh, it's much, much thicker. So where most manufacturers would have fiberglass skin bonded to a, a backer of some kind, whether that be a composite material or let's say a wood material, uh, there's none of that. It's just much thicker fiberglass, which is nice. And you actually see it in the quality of their sidewall. I don't know if you've looked at products before where you're looking down the sidewall and you can literally see where the aluminum studs are from the lamination because it put, puts pressure on there and it kind of exposes where those studs are. Um, you don't see that on this motorhome whatsoever. So that thicker fiberglass and that vacuum bond lamination creates for a much smoother sidewall. Um, also the paint, the Dean Laux paint that they put on the outside of this, I know I talked a little bit about it earlier, it takes approximately two weeks to paint a Dynamax motorhome. Where a lot of other manufacturers, they're spitting through their full body paint process a lot quicker, two, three days, they can pay, pay, uh, fully paint a motorhome. The difference is in the quality of finish. So when you're looking down the sidewall on this coach, there is zero orange peel. All right, and that's you know just from a, a speed process when they're built uh, painting a coach much faster, you tend to have more orange peel. Plus, they have a higher bake pro, uh, temperature, creating a uh, you know when they bake the coach, it creates for a much more consistent, uh, consistent, much more smooth paint finish as well. And the razor cut and buff that they do, so you'll see a transition from paint to paint, right? Where in most products, if you run your hand across the paint, you will feel a hard edge here when they transition transition from one to another. Uh, Dynamax, they do a, a razor cut and buff. So when you run your hand over here, like I cannot feel any transition in paint, okay? Uh, I can't see it in the stencil design of the north, south, east, west there. It just absolutely beautiful paint process. This is the type of paint that you would find on a million dollar plus bus, right? And D that's what Dean Lauchs paints. So the other thing you'll find with a Dynamax coach in terms of paint friends, we'll just pull this back here. Um, you don't see any, you know, go from paint to white. Okay, right here. A lot of manufacturers will actually paint the coach with the slide out 
inside the coach or mounted, all right? Dynamax paints all of their slide boxes before they put them in, okay? So that's why, you know, where you don't see uh, that, that hard edge where you transition from paint to white. So it's painted all the way up to the, the molding inside. So just a, a better process, right? Very high-end paint, beautiful coach, something to be very proud of. And again, this is a coach that you're gonna make a statement with uh, driving down the highway. So, again, 20,000 pounds tow. You got the great big hitch on the back, seven-way connector, flat four, if you will. There's the uh, uh, mud flap on the back. It's black versus chrome with the red, red inlay on there. So, absolutely beautiful, beautiful motorhome. Oh, we're gonna go back. I know I'm jumping all over here. Again, forgive me, friends. I don't edit. I don't uh, run off a script. I just do a little bit of research, try to get as much in my mind as possible based off experience and what I'm looking at and uh, give you the most, most value for this video. Uh, this is straight from the heart on this one. But um, uh, yeah, wet bay. Now, part of the adventure package, friends, is the upgraded insulation. They run in their, in their storage compartments where you have water. Uh, this is a fully winterized coach again so upgraded insulation here um, with you've got the aqua hot system on this coach as well so that's going and we'll show you on the other side we'll talk about that in a moment uh, but dual pane windows um, you know if you're looking for a coach that's going to be more weather you know go through four seasons uh, this one will definitely be able to get you a lot farther uh, that way as well um, so in the wet bay you've got a power freshwater hose reel You've also got two ways to dump your tanks. You have a built-in macerator. So I know that a lot of the you know, luxury resorts that you may take the coach, sometimes they have a stipulation that you have to have a macerator. This particular coach comes with it. Also the regular, regular gravity drain as well. So you've got both ways to drain the tanks. You've got a whole house water filtration system on board. Um, the other really neat thing is the tank monitors that they have on this coach, friends. They actually are not probes that are drilled into the tank where that they'll corrode or you know just sewage will stick to the probes and give you inaccurate readings over time for those that have owned rvs before you know what i'm talking about um, they use actually a sonar uh, system that uh, reads through the tank so less holes in your tank less chances of leaking true levels um, throughout the life of the coach that you're going to uh, be you know ha have it so you, you know when you drain your tank it's drained, right? You know when you've got three quarters full, it's three quarters full, it's real. So, uh, black tank flush, of course, as well. Outside shower. Nine, five, one, please. You've got all the valves right there to do your winterizing, your uh, low point drains, all up inside this beautifully insulated and heated area. So, Dynamax doing a beautiful job that way. Um, the other thing, we'll, uh, again, with the chassis friends, um, the cab actually, I'm gonna go back to it, actually sits up higher than the S2 RV chassis as well. Uh, and that's where you get the ability in some of the coaches to be able to swivel the seats around. But with this particular product, you also, your, your, your storage compartment doors are taller as well. So you actually get more height out of your storage compartments also. Uh, another great compartment here, this one will shoot over to the other side, but you do have that power cord reel right in the way there. Uh, but no big deal, you can access it from the other side. Uh, porthole access to be able to run that power cord through makes managing that cord a whole lot easier uh, and then you've got another big pass-through storage compartment from one side to the other again if you're looking at a motorhome that has that s2 rv chassis that fuel tank is at the back here uh, there's a good chance that you're not going to have that pass-through storage for those longer items that you may want to pack with you so we'll just show that to you there you can see Okay, beautiful storage. Again, rotocast polyethylene. It's all one piece. It's not carpeted to hold all the smells and the stains and all that sort of stuff. You could literally pressure washer out uh, this storage compartment if you wanted. Uh, right here, you have another compartment. Again, that goes up over to the other side. Here is your aqua hot system. So this is a continuous on-demand hot water heater as well as your water heater. Um, you'll basically run out of water before you'll run out of hot water. Um, as well as this provides the heat for the coach as well. There's uh, uh, heat exchangers inside the coach in various locations that blows the heat out. So again, the nice thing with this system, friends, is there's no heat ducts in your floor. 
uh, for to become dirt traps and those sorts of things. That's just a very, uh, you get a lot of benefits by going to a system like this. Um, and again, a fully insulated as well for that colder weather, colder weather use. So a beautiful system. Uh, and it runs on diesel, so it's a diesel engine, diesel burner, or electric as well. So you've got both options. Obviously diesel having a higher, faster recovery rate. So I just love the, the sparkle the metallic finish that they're putting in the paint absolutely absolutely beautiful the mirrored finish you could actually see me you know don't get that with a lot of coaches friends just because of the polish that's on here and look at that wheel absolutely beautiful that's a 275 80r 22.5 michelin so beautiful oh tire tire pressure monitor as well that's that little sensor mounted to the the end of your valve there your stem okay uh more storage here of course beautiful that one doesn't go up over to the other side but you know you do have a bit of a shelf there that you can put some uh, flatter items like folding tables or what have you for your camp space Again, one side to the other, absolutely beautiful. 110 plug in this one as well. So if you have something you want to plug in, um, you know, electrically, you can definitely do that. And there's lights in here, light up the compartment. <clears throat> Excuse me. And then this side as well. Dynamax also provides the airline. So there is a, a spot on the other side in the same compartment as the batteries. Um, that you can hook up this airline to be able to fill up the tires on the coach. If you have inflatables, tires on bicycles, on your tow, on the vehicle you're pulling behind, or the trailer you're pulling behind, they're providing that for you. And then it also comes with the weight safe, uh, full billet aluminum um, ball that you can mount to that big, big square tube on the back and fully adjustable as well, depending on what you're towing. Again, friends, 20,000 pounds of towing with this particular trailer. So you wanna pull a, a truck behind you with a motorcycle in the back or an enclosed car trailer of, of some kind. You know, most of your diesel pusher motorhomes peak out at 10,000 pounds. You see them as high as 15,000 pounds, unless you're going up really, really high. But uh, this particular coach for the money has the most towing capacity that you'll find. And that's why I say Dynamax from quality of build, the feature content, uh, the exterior that they're putting on it, the way they manufacture their walls and their floor and their roof. Um, they're just, in my belief, they're the best value built motorhome going today. Um, there are a lot of, I'm not discrediting some of those other coaches built by other manufacturers that do a phenomenal job as well. But for the money, for what you get in chassis, um, you know, anything less than this is just not even worth it. So um, we'd love to host you to our dealership to, to show you around and teach you all about the products that we offer. So check out that cab again. We're gonna jump up inside here. Uh, keyless entry the other thing is that their entrance door is a little different it's not your typical door that you'd find on some of the motorhomes supplied by Lippert uh, this is a full steel frame door uh, it's very very it's I shouldn't say very very but it's heavier than most uh, it locks in place there so if you get a wind gust the chances of it slamming shut go down uh, which is nice but very very solid if you're ever in a spot where maybe you're in a collision the chances of you being able to open this door are far better and the other benefit to a super c friends versus class a's especially your mid-entry class a's is that's the only entry exit to get out of the coach where this particular machine you've got this door as well as both both captain uh, both captain's chairs there and that's a big benefit. You know, if you're driving down the highway and you forget to latch that one door, you just don't push it far enough closed. And all of a sudden that door pops open for you, rather than having to turn your chair and go through the coach and go out the door and all the way around to the other side of the motorhome, you just shoot out your driver's door. Um, you know, if you're backing it into a campground and you're like, you're doing it by yourself and your cameras just aren't quite giving you the vantage point that you're looking for, you jump out, you hit, you know, put it in park, pull the brake, and hop out the door and in and out you go. It's just, there's so many benefits to a Super C motorhome that uh, over a Class A that we're, we're seeing nowadays. And that's probably part of the reason why the segment is really taking off uh, in the RV industry, which is nice. So, and we specialize in this product. Um, one of the options that we put on this coach is the overhead bed right here. Uh, so when you go inside, it's an extra sleeping position. 
They have an all new redesigned uh, cab over type bed design with that whole one piece fiberglass cap, which is absolutely beautiful that you see. Um, you don't have to have that. So if you wanted more of a super B type look, so uh, more of an entertainment system or a storage unit up above versus the bed, um, we can option that in and build a coach out that way for you uh, if you wanted. So um, again, before we jump inside, you've got the uh, 19 foot Girard power awning. It's a two stage awning. So when it comes out, it'll come out and then it'll drop down. There's about a, a halfway up the awning fabric, it hinges. So it's a, a two stage really giving you beautiful shade in that, you know, if you're west facing the sun, um, and that awnings down there you're going to get far better shade coverage it has a wind sensor built onto it so if you get too much uh, movement in that awning it'll automatically close for you you also have the the blackout gerard slide topper awnings as well just to keep those you know the little branches and dirt and debris and those sorts of things that land on the coach if you're camping in a wooded area if you will um, off the top of the slide out so you're not having to go up on top of the roof to to sweep off the slide box now let me say that if you do go up on the roof it's a full fiberglass roof uh, it's not a tpo it's not a rubber membrane whatsoever full fiberglass um, over top of the sidewall so when it's raining or if you have snow up on the roof that's melting it's going to run over top of the sidewall down the rain gutter or uh, down the gutter and off the coach which is real nice they use a 16 inch on center uh, aluminum truss uh, throughout the roof using a bat insulation it's not a laminated roof uh, we find laminated roofs tend to uh, allow condensation to build up inside the coach a whole lot a whole lot easier so the beautiful thing with a roof like this is just going to breathe a lot better for you allow that heat to escape those sorts of things and then you also have dual 15,000 btu air conditioners up on top um, atta attached to uh, a continuous duct work through the ceiling of the coach uh, together so you you know, if you only wanted to run one air conditioner, it's gonna provide the cooling for the entire coach. It's gonna spread it through the roof and down into the cabin of the, of, of the RV, uh, which is nice. So again, doing a beautiful job with their motorhome. You can see the, the trim piece, the awnings here, and then they add the extra tim, just trim just for consistency sake, just a beautiful high-end look on this motorhome. So um, we're gonna jump up inside here, little extra storage here at the entry for shoes and things of that nature we haven't really done this just showed up yesterday so we haven't really done a full clean on it we sprayed the uh, road grime off on the outside just so you can see that beautiful finish but with the 37 ts it's a triple slide model uh, we optioned in the feeder seat now it electrically opens and closes it has heat and massage uh, they also have these removable tables extra tables that you can use for for eating you got a beverage holder there as well so you got four cup holders built right in very very comfortable um, on this side we went with the standard love seat now you can also option in the uh, fireplace um, and television big tv it's uh, i think a 50 inch tv uh, this particular one i believe is 39 inches going off memory here uh, but all on a power lift so the tv's right behind here it power lifts up uh, we decided to stick with the standard seating just for those people that maybe want to pack a few extra people uh, with you this makes into a bed if you need it as an extra sleeping position uh, the theater seating does not uh, you also have a automotive style booth dinette uh, what's really nice about the dinette that dynamax puts in their coaches is there's no table leg all right it swings down away from the wall landing on these rails so if you want to make it into a bed you can um, but it has all inter springs built into the cushions so you just remove this back cushion like i'm showing you here and you just lift up here it's got all the springs built in seat belts in both sides as well as storage underneath so if you have some bigger cooking appliances or things of that nature you want to pack with you you can just throw them there underneath the uh the cushion they lift up it's not a cushion on top of a wood panel either so you could literally sit here for hours traveling down the highway and be very very comfortable so I'll just punch that back in there again cup holders in the tabletop as well so if you got your your grandson or granddaughter and they're sitting there and they're maybe in a high chair potentially or a, a, a car seat you know it's a good spot for them to put their juice box or or what have you 
show you the interior. So this has the new gray mist cabinet, which is a, a painted cabinet, a white cabinet, um, all solid wood. Uh, there's no veneer uh, on your cabinetry whatsoever in this particular coach. Uh, absolutely beautiful. We went with the carbon fabric, uh, which is kind of a lighter medium gray uh, fabric color. And with the gray mist cabinet choice, you get the, uh, the darker cabinet top here as well. Beautiful countertop extension. So really nice uh, counter space in this particular motorhome. Lots of drawers. Um, what's new for this year is the induction cooktop on this particular coach. You can actually lift it out, unplug it, and take it outside if you wanted to put it on a picnic bench and do your bacon and eggs in the morning outside. Uh, now keep in mind induction, um, you do require the properly suited uh, cookware for that uh, to be able to cook on an induction cooktop. Uh, but really nice, really nice um, cooking appliance, if you will. Reaching for words there. Uh, GE Profile, uh, General Electric, their Profile Series is their more of their upper end type appliance. And so that's what you get for your convection, convection microwave as well. Uh, one of the things I want to show you in terms of their cabinetry, uh, which is nice, um, they put a, a product called Ozite, which is a carpeted material on their inside of their compartments. Uh, what's nice about this is it's sound deadening, uh, reduces the, the banging that you might get with, you know, contents, you know, if you're putting your dishware here or what have you. Um, it also reduces the amount of sliding you're going to be having with the uh, items you put in uh, your compartments here. So just a really nice, beautiful compartment. And that's all the interior compartments there as well, uh, as well as some of the other compartments, friends, are, are cedar lined. The drawers have cedar in them. Typically in the bedroom is where they do it. Um, show you this beautiful sink. Spray faucet. Just touch this out of the way. Again, we didn't get this. We just got this in, so we haven't wiped down the sink. But nice deep basin sink for doing your dishes and meal prep and things of that nature. So what's nice about this spot here too, it kind of acts as a bit of a coffee bar too. Um, you got a 110 plug right up there, so you can plug in a coffee maker. That's typically where they put, with laminated walls, they run the 110 plugs in the base of the cabinets up above. So just be aware of that. Beautiful drawers, all soft clothes, really nice. Beautiful compartments. You can see the finishing is just done so well in these motorhomes. So shoot up front here on the cab. So again, you have the TPMS system, tire pressure monitoring. You have the mobile eye collision uh, mitigation as well. So it's gonna, you know, pick up the, the, the um, speed signs, if you will. So if it's 80 kilometers an hour, um, you know, it's gonna pick that up. It'll tell you if you're going over, it'll beep at you if you're over. Um, tell you how far or close you are to the driver in front of you, vehicle in front of you, if you will. Um, the camera system on it, it's a four camera system. So you have two side cameras as well as two rear cameras. What's neat about the two rear cameras on this coach, that's the, that's the monitor for the camera system right there. Um, what's neat about the four cameras is the two at the rear, um, one points straight down at your hitch. So if you've got a bike rack back there or you know, you're pulling a vehicle or a trailer behind, you can point it right down at your hitch and just keep an eye on what's going on down there. And then you can have one pointed out straight out the back of the RV looking down who's coming up behind you, which makes for changing lanes and things of that nature just a little bit, little bit nicer. So brake controller built in already. Again, that's one of the things that you don't get with a Class A motorhome. You're having to add that in after the fact. And this is meant, this machine's meant to tow, 20,000 pounds towing. Beautiful upper bed storage with safety, safety gate, ladder off to the side, easy access. You can remove the ladder, you can remove the, the safety gate. You can take this panel right out. There's a cutout right here. So if you wanted to uh, give yourself a little more headroom for travel, you can lift that up out of the way, slide it forward, that sort of thing. So. Again, uh, technology-wise with the DX3 Friends, it comes with a um, 
satellite dish, um, high definition. Uh, it's a self-tracking satellite dish, so you can actually use it as you're traveling down the highway. That comes standard with the coach, um, as well as it has the uh, WineGuard uh, 360 plus TV antenna. And with that, it comes paired with the gateway device, which is a super Wi-Fi receiver. You can also add a SIM card from your cell phone provider. You have to have the right cell phone provider, but you can basically use your data plan to be able to stream. Um, let's say if you're in an area where you can't connect your satellite or you don't want to hook up your satellite, uh, but you're in a spot where you can connect to Wi-Fi, you can stream all your favorite apps, you know, Sportsnet, TSN, ESPN, uh, if you're down in the US, any of those special apps that you like to watch on your smart TVs, you can do that. All the smart, all the TVs in this Coach 2, friends, by the way, are uh, the Amazon Fire TVs, so they're all set up for that. Um, and I can tell you, I use a, an Amazon Fire Stick at home, and the uh, web browser is beautiful for streaming um, off the internet. Uh, just throw that out there. But again, TSN, Sportsnet, for us Canadians up here that we like to watch all of our sports. Uh, our Edmonton Oilers win the Stanley Cup this year, if possible. Uh, wink, wink. Beautiful underground, under cabinet lighting there too. So, very solid floor in this particular coach as well, friends. It's a vacuum bonded two and a half inch laminated floor. Underneath the vinyl tile, uh, Dynamax and the DX3 uses a vinyl tile. I like the vinyl tile because if you were ever to drop something inside the coach and damage the one tile, rep replacing it is so much nicer, so much easier. It's, uh, it's a warmer product um, versus like a hard porcelain tile that's grouted down. If you were ever to damage one of those, the, the replacement is so much harder to do. Um, but yeah, beautiful floor in here. The plywood decking underneath is a marine grade plywood, 5 eighths tongue and groove very very strong like i'm walking on this floor there's no movement underneath my feet at all um, and there's no heat ducts in the floor as well um, again the heat comes out you know you got some duct work here for some heat exchangers throughout the coach to blow that heat from your aqua hot system so um, i wanted to show you here you got a bit of a if you wanted a broom closet you could add a couple of extra hooks here if you wanted. They got a 110 plug here if you want to put a something in that runs off of a one, you know, 110 appliance, if you will, behind a cupboard. Um, here you've got a couple things going on. Uh, we just want to show you. This is your wine guard. Uh, it's attached for your Wi-Fi for your TV antenna. This is for your satellite dish. Um, and then you've got the Dynamax Firefly system. Uh, this basically operates all the, you know, all the componentry in terms of electronics are attached to this. Uh, it's going to tell you the temperature throughout the coach, the front, the rear, the tank compartment as well. It's going to give you battery voltage for your house as well as your chassis. Uh, gives you your tank monitors here as well. You can turn on your water pump also um, for your power. Uh, it'll tell you what power source you're hooked into. It has the automatic generator start as well. So it has the, the, the legs that you can use, whether that's temperature inside the coach that you want your generator to turn on. So hypothetically, let's say you're out golfing for the morning, you set your AGS, uh, you're not able to plug in, you're parked in the parking lot, you got your dogs inside and the temperature gets up to, you know, 25 degrees, let's say inside the coach and it's gonna go hotter. Uh, we know what the temperature can do inside vehicles sometimes where you have your generator turn on automatically and you have your temperature already set inside for your air conditioning and it automatically turns on your air conditioning. The other leg that you can have is uh, for battery voltage. So if your battery voltage drops below a certain level, um, you can have the automatic generator start, activate the generator to supercharge those, uh, those batteries back up. And being lithium on here, uh, they're going to charge up real fast. You might not ever need to use the automatic generator start, to be honest with you, other than maybe wanting to cool down the coach because you've got a thousand watts of solar on the roof. So you're probably not going to need the leg to recharge those batteries. Um, what else we got on here? Uh, do, 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 do. lighting all your lighting you can individually do the lights the multiplex lighting system you've got all these switches throughout but I can literally turn off all the lights I'll just do it for you with one button so rather than individually going and turning off all the lights you can do it all at one shot which is really really nice you're coming home from the from a nice dinner out um, and you're walking in the coach it's totally dark you want to turn all the lights on just push the button all the lights go on. 
really nice. Um, again, you've got all your temperature here. Front, rear tank compartment, there's temperature sensors throughout the coach uh, to best manage the, uh, the temperature throughout. Uh, you've got your slide out switches here for all your slides, your awning, your leveling, hydraulic four point leveling on this coach as well. Um, and then you've got your settings portion of it. There's also a mobile app that you can download. So you basically push mobile app, scan it with your camera, plug in the mirror code, the pin, and you can connect your phone to the system as well. So you don't have to get up every time and utilize this punch pad here. So a lot of really cool uh, things going on with the system on this particular coach that just makes ownership just so nice. So when we teach you all about this at our dealership, you know, when we buy an RV from our dealership here at Woody's RV in Leduc, uh, we have a, a delivery area here right underneath our overhang. I'll just shoot through the window here and show it to you. Right, we have people picking up their RVs. It's, you know, covered. We got all the power, all the water there. We hook up your RV like it's at a full service campground. Our goal is to show you how to work everything on the RV. Make sure you get really good value in, in your time and how to operate the coach effectively. Um, but that everything is good, you know. Um, we want to make sure that when we're delivering a coach into your hands, it's been proven out. We don't, we don't expect you to remember every single thing during your orientation. And we're here to help guide you as you, as you go through the ownership experience. So we have RV owners that have literally purchased three, four, five, six RVs from us at our Leduc dealership. And we've been open since 2017. So a uh, beautiful fridge here. Just show that to you. Again, we're running off batteries right now. So that fridge light isn't going to turn on. If I turned on the inverter, it would turn on. Beautiful pantry here. Again, pull out, uh, pull out drawers. Full extension ball bearing drawer glide. Soft close. You got the locks here for the fridge doors as well. Beautiful vanity. You got three drawers there. Nice big sink. Cool thing is your sink is actually molded into the countertop. So if you spill something here, you just wipe it in, it goes down. You're not going to have to worry about maintaining the silicone or the sealant around that sink, which is nice. Beautiful, great big double mirrors. One's bigger than the other, obviously, but again, really nice vanity for all your personal effects. One ten plug, USB connections as well, switches. Uh, we optioned in the, I'll do it through here. There's your bathroom, storage up top, toilet, and then you got your shower. Beautiful shower, one piece fiberglass. It's got the oxygenic shower head, so that's a water saving. Uh, shower head as well gives you giving you more water pressure which is nice seat in there to sit down if you need it all one piece fiberglass the other thing to talk about friends your tank capacities on this 94 gallons fresh water capacity your gray is 52 gallons and your black is 52 gallons so really nice capacities uh, with this coach yes i looked at a piece of paper for those numbers Washer dryer we optioned, so stackable right in the hallway there. Coming into the bedroom, king size bed. Beautiful setup. Your fresh water tank in the Dynamax products, friends, are underneath the bed. Uh, they're not in the underbelly of the coach. Uh, they're just better protected there. Uh, it's a warmer area as well if you're wanting to do colder weather use. Plus it allows for you to have larger gray and black tanks underneath, not having to compete with a fresh tank. Um, you've got 110 plug here. You've got wireless charging on either side of the bed. Um, so you just place your cell phone right on there and it'll automatically charge your battery. Your, if, if you have a phone that's equipped to handle magnetic or wireless charging. Uh, and then you've got USB plugs right here in the side of it as well. They just tuck out of the way. So on both sides, beautiful storage up top. Pendant lighting for reading. And then wonderful storage. Six lower drawers. Just pop this one open so you can see. All cedar lined. 
help uh, keep the pests out of the clothing, if you will. Right, motion sensor lighting on each side. Um, this curtain here is an insulated cab curtain, so you can actually close off the cab of the vehicle, of the truck. Uh, it's insulated, so if you're just traveling and you're not using your home, but you're maybe you're moving it over to the storage, or sorry, to the storage yard or to a service center, uh, you can hang that up there, and it just you know keeps people's eyes out of the the cabin of the uh, of the motor home, but also uh, it helps keep the heat contained. So if you're moving the coach in cold weather, but you're not using the motor home and heating the inside of the coach, um, hang that curtain up there, and it'll help contain the heat in the cab. So sound bar for sound beautiful again cedar line drawers storage in behind here Ooh, we haven't pdi'd this coach that's a beautiful thing we've done nothing to this coach and this is the condition it came in absolutely beautiful one of the benefits to dynamax we're not the last 60 feet of the assembly line so yeah safe for uh all your personal effects you're heading to the u.s you know you want to bring your passport some cash uh, that sort of thing you can lock it all up there so nice and secure and you can close in the windshield uh, with these covers as well side windows they provide that for you so if you want to use those captain's chairs um, go ahead and spin them around ge air conditioner yeah I know this is a long video. I appreciate all of you for hanging in with me. I appreciate the kind support of comments. Uh, this is the first video I've shot on a Dynamax DX3 with the M2106 chassis. I hope I've provided good value for your time. Um, we've done a ton of research. We know the competitive models, the competitive product, and we'd love to uh, come alongside you in your shopping journey and uh, teach you all about the many benefits and wonderful things that you can do and experience owning a Super C motorhome by Dynamax at our dealership here in Woody's RV in Leduc. Um, again, we're 15 minutes south of Edmonton and uh, we've got that Edmonton International Airport right across the highway from us. So if you're from Ontario or down south someplace and you wanna fly in and experience what we can offer, um, at our dealership here in Leduc and, and uh, create a wonderful experience for you. We'd love to come alongside you in that. Again, my name's Clayton Phillips. I'm the sales manager here, Woody's RV in Leduc. I'll just show you this grill here, one last shot. Beautiful blackout grill, Dynamax on the front. Beautiful, beautiful coach. Thank you for your time. You take care, be safe, have fun.